but when I was actually redesigning my site, I realized that to redesign and redo the menus was going to take, for me, probably about a day, day and a half. And I had discovered a program for creating menus. The program that I found and that I use is Blumenthal's Easy Button and Menu Maker. This is one of the programs that I really think is worth buying. I was able to completely redesign my menus and get them on my website and they were totally functional in 10, around 10 minutes. So there's two versions of it here. There's the uh, Pro version, which I would suggest that you actually buy if you decide to buy this. It has a few more features and things in it. There's also the personal edition for $29.95. You can download a trial version. I think it's 14 days and, and work with it. Uh, it's actually an amazing program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a run through of actually creating a menu and putting it on your website. In my previous videos, a lot of people started asking questions about WordPress and things like that. If you're using WordPress, this may not be for you. If you've got an HTML site that you've designed and built yourself or you have access to an HTML site that you manage and uh, you need to redo menus and things like this, this might be a really good option for you. So the first thing that you're going to do is you can download the program or buy it and install it. And when you open it up, the default is to come up on the new uh, menu here. And they have a ton of templates in here that you can select from. And these templates have design elements that are preset. So you can actually select one of these and start working on it. Build your menu and not customize anything at all. And it's going to be usable in just a matter of minutes. Uh, in each of these menus, however, there is the ability to customize these. Uh, you can select colors, you can change the looks, you can round corners on the buttons, you can do all sorts of things. A lot of the menus are pure CSS, and this is the uh, for the responsive design, not relying on uh, uh, a lot of JavaScript and things like that. So the ones that are marked CSS you're not really going to need to worry about the JavaScript. And I'll talk about the JavaScript in just a minute because they actually do generate that for you when you create the menus. Some of their menus are image-based, uh, and this uses com a combination of images for the buttons as well as CSS and JavaScript. Uh, the program will generate all that for you. The only difference is uh, the image-based you actually may have to make sure that you copy the images of the of the buttons up to your website. So I believe that's the difference there. So I'm just going to select this. But this is just a stock basic menu here, home product support. And you can actually take a look at what they've already got here. They've added a drop down menu here. Uh, you can customize every one of these. Uh, usually the home button you know you're probably going to leave that the same when you click on that you get the option over here of changing the text uh, you can change uh, the colors backgrounds you can change the borders you can change the spacing uh, you can round the corners uh, around the top corners only you can do whatever you want and um, and you can change the width and we'll we'll walk through a little bit of that here in just a second if you want to add a top level menu item, if you're clicked into the top level menu, all you have to do is say add an item and it's just going to add it and the default name is going to be button and I'm just going to change that and call that info for right now. As soon as you type it in, it's there. Now you notice that the size is a little bit different. You can either drag it out, but what I like to do is go to one of the other buttons. This gives you the width. The width on this one's 95, that's 116, that's 82. If you wanted to change the width and make them all uniform, you can do it here. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to turn off auto size and change this to 95 to match the other one. So uh, if you wanted to come here and you want to add a submenu, you come up here to the uh, add submenu and come up with an item there. You can just call that item one. 
if you wanted to add more items you would just click the add item button and you could add as many as you wanted so it's fairly easy and then you can just rename them real quick the only other thing you would need to do on each of these items is you would have to actually come in to where it says link and you would actually write in the URL or the path to your web page that that's actually linking to. The hint would be something that you would type in and if somebody mouses over it they're going to get a kind of a tool tip that comes up there. So if I mouse over that you see the the word note comes up. So that's what that is. That's for a tool tip. So target this is an interesting feature here on my website I've got a couple of uh, pages that index articles and things and I have those set to actually open in a blank uh, or actually open in a new tab in the browser so you can select that and put that here if you want to as well style you can come in here you can change uh, the size of the letters you can change the font you can change the colors backgrounds all that kind of stuff you can do anything you want uh, with this. Uh, the corners again you can round the corners and you can change the radius on the rounded corners and things of that nature so those options are all there so this is the basic uh, some of the basic changes that you can make if I was to port that out to the code right now and put it in a website it is going to simply occupy uh, this area this amount of space on the page and what I can do is I can tell it that I actually want this menu to span the full width of the web page and now it's already filled in my my background color there uh, one of the things you might run into is if you're using a template that has it might have colors in the buttons but the actual background color might be white and if you say full width it might actually fill in or have either white or no color here so if that happens then you just want to make sure you're at the top level and you want to make sure that you come over to your background and that you actually select a background color as you can see I've added buttons and I've done all kinds of things it didn't take that long you're probably going to spend more time putting in the links and that might be a good thing to if you're designing your site or if you've already got an established site you might want to create another text document and just write your target URLs out and then you can just paste them in here. Okay, so right now this menu, if I had links in here for these items, this menu would actually be functional right now. So the process now of getting this into your web page is fairly simple. Now you do have an option of coming up here to the publish section and actually inserting that into a web page. I've worked with that and the thing about that is a few times that I've done that it's it'll insert it into the page but not where I want it but I usually tell it to save the menu as HTML so I'm just going to hit that and you can uh, change the folder where it's going to I'm just going to leave this there for right now that's the folder where it's going to I'm going to just leave everything here as the default it's going to create a directory called index files and it's going to put things in that and I'm going to show you one little uh, wrinkle with that so, so I'm just going to hit next uh, this basically uh, is a reminder that it's going to create all of the files that are required but you're going to have to pay attention to making sure that you get the, the required files all uploaded to your website and then it gives the option here of uh, actually saving the menu for you and I highly suggest that you do this because I have forgotten to save my menu a couple times closed it and lost some changes so I just leave all that set and then the preview button here it's kinda nice to leave that up whatever your default browser is it's gonna bring that up so I just hit finish here and make a note of this this is BAMP that's the extension that it puts to this remember that and remember where it's going because if you want to modify this later on you're going to need to open that file so just remember where it's going so here's the folder where I'm going to it's going to create the uh, index files folder and then it's going to make the main file that we're going to work with so I'm going to hit save alright so now 
the menus created it's generated the CSS there's some JavaScript out there so now we need to go out and actually take a look at that and get it into the uh, web page or into the into the HTML page okay so one thing I need to mention here and this is one of the little wrinkles it creates an index files folder and this is where all of your uh, CSS and your image files are so it's going to put them all in here your JavaScript file is here as well but what you're not going to see in this folder is the actual uh, HTML file and whatever the parent folder is to this index files folder is where that's going to appear so here's the index.htm file that's been created and I'm going to open that in notepad plus plus that's what I'm using as an editor here and the only thing that's in this is the code for the menu that we just created it has a reference to the JavaScript file and it's going to reference uh, the CSS file for that so all we have to do now is come in here and I'm going to copy all of this including this JavaScript reference down here and I'll talk about that in just a second so I've selected all of it I'm going to go ahead and copy it now I'm going to go back to my HTML file this is the file for the website Let me go ahead and close that that's the preview this is what it's going to look like so this is the the page that I'm actually working with so I'm going to go back to notepad plus plus and below my banners and things I'm just going to go ahead and paste in that code so this is the actual menu code and we need to go back to the folder over here into the index files folder and we're going to locate this CSS file I'm going to open that notepad plus plus and I'm just going to select all of that and then I'm going to copy it then I want to come back over to the CSS file that I'm actually using for that HTML file. So all I have to do is just right click that or control V and just hit paste. Okay, so I'm not covering minifying this or anything right now because what we're interested in is just seeing how this, but later on when you get your CSS, you're going to minify all this and then get it back on your website because right now this would be fairly inefficient the way that it's written out so now I should be able to go out to the web page itself in the browser and there's the menu so there's my drop down list and right now if I had URLs in there if I click on these these would all be functional and that really I've taken a little bit of time here actually walking through it but you can see that that actually would not take that much time to do that and you can do whatever this is a responsive menu it will resize and space the menu items to make them responsive so your tap targets are going to resize themselves you're not going to have to worry about doing that I mentioned earlier that it generates a JavaScript file. If we go over to the um, index files folder, you'll see that it's actually created a JavaScript file. And if I edit that with Notepad++, it brings it up. And this is actually a minified JavaScript file. And what you can do is you can select that and copy it and what I have done with my web pages is I've actually gone to the very bottom of the page right above the body tag put open and closing uh, script tags in and insert it there and it runs just fine and it doesn't create any problems with the load speed or anything like that but the time that it takes to actually do this is fairly minimal and like I've said this is a really good program there's a lot of customization and everything that you can do in here the easy button in menu maker definitely is a program that is worth investing in and uh, I'm just scratching the surface here on using it but if you wanted something that can create a menu very quickly and you want to get it live this would be the way to go so thanks for watching and I hope this helps uh, give me a like or let me know what you think and I'll talk to you later.
Thanks.